In this video we're going to look at managing your housekeeping. So from the bookings grid under the process slash options drop down list there we'll go to housekeeping tasks. This housekeeping list pops up for us. These ones are showing all of our properties, all of our property types and the status of incomplete for housekeeping items. We can change the status to show different information. We can show not started items, ones in progress, ones complete, follow up, deferred etc. This list also then displays in due date order. So based on today's date, the 4th of September, we've got a couple of items in there that we can see. So we've got a guest who departed yesterday, the 3rd of the 9th, a depart clean and a depart linen with their due date there. Those items now having been completed, we can click on one and click the update button here. We've got options then we can change it to. In our case, we we're going to complete it or I can complete more than one item at once and this way I highlight one using either the control key or the shift key on my keyboard I can highlight multiple items in the list and again using either the update key or right clicking on the highlighted area I can complete my housekeeping task or make adjustments to it. So we've got a couple of other depart ones showing there as well of course for the coming days. We've also got an arrival check in here. That one there can be completed, update and complete our housekeeping task. If you want to add information to any one of these ones here, you can double click the item. It will open it up there. You can then make adjustments or add information as necessary to the individual item as you see it on the screen. OK, we'll have a look at some of the reports that are available to you then as well from the housekeeping area under the print option at the top here. We've got a daily housekeeping report that we can uh, have a look at. Number of filtering options on there, of course, on the right hand side as well. We're going to look at this daily housekeeping just for today, OK, 4th of the 9th. Under my print option there, I'm going to select the preview report only. what we have is a daily housekeeping report for today and listed by room or property type we can then see the information there so we've got one slash one bay we've got an arrival there of a guest two adults arriving approximately 2 p.m. there we've got one here three bed apartment which is having a depart clean and a depart linen today DC and DL give me that indication as we're looking at those ones there if you look a bit further down the screen here, we've got an in-house guest who's receiving a service clean and a service linen today. And we've got a little comment there for the housekeepers. Please leave two extra bath towels for guest. So that's your daily housekeeping report. The next one here is a housekeeping forecast. That one can be uh, driven by a date range there. So 4th to the 5th. Let's just have a look at that one there. Again, we'll just preview this report. This one here from the 4th to the 5th so it's broken down day by day there. Again similar information on there we're looking at guess who's checked out today where the room is having a depart clean and a depart linen. We've got an arrival of a guest today. We've got a guest who's arriving today who's already checked in. A little arrival to check done there. And again this one here which is the in-house guest receiving the service clean and service linen. Again with the comment that we can see there. The next report, Outstanding Housekeeping. That one there can show Outstanding Housekeeping up to a certain date range. So if we just push that through to the next day, preview on that one there. Again, we can see this is all Outstanding Housekeeping up until the 5th of September. Most cases, what you should see here, of course, is the ones that are valid for today and tomorrow. The last one in here is a housekeeping forecast, 31 days worth. Again, we'll just pop it in from today's date and do a preview on that one. Okay, so this report is listed by room types. So my one bed apartment, two bed apartment. If we have a look at the top part here, we get an indication then of the actual room or property. We've got an A for an arrival on Saturday the 5th. We've got a D2 to identify a departure two days later on the Monday. A again for an arrival there on the 10th, guest departing seven nights later or seven days later on the 17th there. 
If we have a look down to our two bedders there, again similar things, arrivals and departures, the number giving you the number of uh, nights that the guest has stayed. This one here which shows a green uh, D3 and A, an arrival there with a departure after three nights with an arrival that day, so a back-to-back -back, uh, booking in that particular room or property there. We also get at the bottom there a little counter which identifies arrivals and departures for the, each individual day and the cleans and linens that need to be done at that point as well. Scroll down there, a little bit more information we can see on the three bedders there. Again with this one here we've got an arrival and then a departure after eight nights or eight days where we can see then a service linen applies in the middle of the guest stay. So there we've looked at some housekeeping reports. Each of these housekeeping reports can also be emailed to your housekeeper. So if a user is set up as a housekeeper, you can select to email reports to them. Under the print option there, we get the option to email to housekeeper to the valid ones available. So we've had a look there at how to manage your housekeeping, either looking at the information that we can then complete or certain reports that are available to us.